What's going on, Z Nation, and welcome to another edition of ZSPN. I'm your host, Zade, here. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Lakers versus the Warriors tonight. But before anything, like always, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share my videos all over Facebook, Twitter, all the good social media stuff. Now, as of tonight, uh, you know, the Lakers lost to the Warriors. I believe it was 115 to 101. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of uh, reasons that the Lakers lost. I mean, obviously, with number one issue was that LeBron James was out. Uh, surprisingly, uh, there was uh, it was announced today that you know LeBron James is not going to play tonight. And I believe the issue uh, what it was at first, I got I kind of got confused because the first time I ever heard heard about this uh, type of uh, reporting is that. Uh, the reason that LeBron James is out is because of a loaded, I, I think it's like loaded or maybe it was load management, something like that. Uh, it was a sort of weird, I never heard that before, but the main, the, the, what it really means is that, you know, LeBron James just woke up, I believe, I believe either, either it was today or yesterday, and he was dealing with soreness. Uh, from I don't know from his ankle or just his knees I'm not so sure what it was it, but it had to do with him playing 40 minutes uh, uh, on, on I believe it was like on uh, Thursday against the Clippers so um, that was basically the main issue that LeBron James was not playing tonight so um, and I'm telling you guys, if LeBron James was playing tonight, I guarantee you, with the results of how the Lakers played today, I guarantee you, I th I believe they would have, uh, you know, uh, obviously won tonight against the Golden State Warriors. But obviously, it wasn't the case. And guys, let's just talk about the main issue. I mean, obviously, injuries, okay? Injuries is taking the toll of this Lakers team. I mean, from Kyle Kuzma, who only, I believe, only uh, scored like 10, maybe 12 points out there tonight. So, and plus he's dealing with his own injury himself. And um, also with Josh Hart, who, you know, has been really himself because he's been also dealing with injuries himself. So, uh, we can also just blame on the Lakers uh, not being successful is because... Uh, you know, as of late, I mean, uh, is because uh, of injuries, honestly. I mean, this is basically what it is. And uh, and I, I'm not really, like, disappointed. I'm just, like, you know, you know, recognizing the situation that injuries have taken a toll of this Lakers team. And I guarantee you guys, just by the way they were playing, I mean, I have to give a lot of credit out there to Brandon Ingram because he was – Basically, the guy who really stepped up. I mean, averaging, I believe, 20 points out there tonight. So, continuously to step up his role as being that sort of uh, like a third option for the Lakers. Uh, you know, with the whole Kyle Kuzma dealing with his own injuries, like I said. And, you know, LeBron being out. Uh, it really shows that, um, that, that Brandon Ingram is just is just stepping up his role in a huge way. And uh, we all have to really appreciate that. So good job tonight for uh, Brandon Ingram. Uh, who else I could really talk about? I mean, I can also make the argument that KCP stepped up also. Sure, like in the first and second quarter, he did not score whatsoever. But then we, you know, just in the third quarter, he, uh, I believe it was like nine minutes into the game. And, you know, the, I think the Lakers were just up by maybe four points. Uh, against the uh, the Warriors, and I believe they had to do with KCP. I believe he had like ten points in nine minutes left in the uh, in the third quarter. So uh, we give some credit out there for his role of you know helping out the Lakers. But other than that, uh, I cannot really uh, I cannot really say who else about this Lakers team really. Oh, well, the only players that you know. We can give some shout out out there, you know, from like Aviza Zubac and um, I'm trying to think of some other players. Uh, Rajan Rondo, I forgot about him. He stepped up also being being that sort of player. Sorry about that, guys. I mean, I'm outside in my car about to head home. So 
if you if you guys hear some cars and stuff i really my apologies i'm not at home i have to make this video so uh anyway so yeah rajon rondo you know he stepped up also his role you know being that floor general and the you know what he does best playing his uh uh playmaker and being that sort of point guard that he is and uh obviously i believe he i think he averaged a a double double out there tonight so uh give some credit out there to him but other than that um like i said in the beginning you know the main issue was just lakers staying health not staying healthy that's all there is and with the whole uh the only thing i could really say about tonight that I was really impressed by was the Laker fans out there at Staples, uh, not Staples, at uh, that Oracle. Uh, they um, were chanting, you know, we want Clay, we want Clay. And obviously the reason behind it is because for these maybe past two, maybe a week or two ago, like, you know, there's been reports being out there that, you know, Clay Thompson, uh, you know, there's some drama between you know the 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 Golden State's uh, organization and uh, obviously you know he wants to get a max contract and you know they are they have a plethora of players who are going to be free agent like KD and uh, also uh, DeMarcus Cousins and even Clay himself so uh, there's going to be some situation and even uh, Draymond Green as well so there's a couple of players on that team that's you know gonna be free agents and the you know there's gonna be some players that could be considered of the of could be considerations for them to stay at for the Warriors or may possibly move on and go play somewhere else where they can get a much better uh, offer and get a, a max contract which I can understand why you know Laker fans out there are chanting his name because you know there's he's in the rumor mill as being rumored to you know potentially or may possibly uh, join the Los Angeles Lakers in free agency and maybe possibly team up with uh, LeBron James. But most recent reports shows that if somehow the Lakers do pull off a trade for Anthony Davis, there is a possibility that Kate Clay Thompson will sign with the Lakers if that sort of situation happens. Because obviously, you know, with if the Lakers do bring in uh, KD and you know LeBron is there, uh, it's gonna attract more uh free agents to come join the Los Angeles Lakers. I mean, that's just the whole uh, dynamic of this whole rumor mill for Lakers and K uh, sorry, uh for Anthony Davis. So, um you know, it it, it shows a lot of uh it, it kind of makes sense for you know, somebody like Clay Thompson, you know, if he wants to go like join a a super team, uh obviously that is the Los Angeles Lakers, if they do have LeBron and K, you know, I'm just noticing if I keep on saying KD, my apologies. I mean to say AD. That's what I mean. That's what I've been trying to say. My apologies if I throughout this video, maybe I'm trying to think if I ever did it. But, you know, if if somehow I said uh, LeBron and KD, uh, my apologies. I meant to say LeBron and AD, Anthony Davis. So uh, my apologies for that. But, you know, anyway. That's the whole situation that I really, really was impressed tonight. Also, not just from the game, but, you know, also from the Laker fans and Oracle. You know, they were uh, really showing that, you know, we they really want um, Clay Thompson to join the Los Angeles Lakers uh, in free agency in 2019. So um, that's the whole situation. And plus, you know... He's looking after himself as well. You know, he wants to get a, a a max contract, which, you know, respectfully, he actually deserves because, you know, he's been playing very well this season, you know, uh, and obviously he deserves his money. But at the same time, you know, if somehow he doesn't, you know, he just wants like the whole team to get back together sort of thing. Uh, I don't think he's going to go for it. And uh, uh, we could just hope and, you know... <laughs> I'm obviously praying that, you know, uh, Clay Thompson, if he decides uh, to uh, leave uh, the uh, the Golden State Warriors, he considers the Los Angeles Lakers even if, you know, they don't get uh, Anthony Davis and decides to just wait for him in 2020 
to get him in uh, in free agency 2020. And uh, that's looking like it's going to be a possibility. But, you know, it still remains to be seen with the whole Pelican situation if they are going to deal uh, Anthony Davis uh, in the next uh, couple of days or possibly, you know, once the uh, trade deadline ends on uh, Thursday, February 7th. So uh, still remains to be seen. But uh, obviously... The Lakers gave them the offers, and, you know, they can still talk. You know, they still have a couple of days left for them to, uh, you know, still communicate with the Pelicans organization and see what they want. I mean, obviously, that's the main issue for the Lakers. But uh, um, like always, guys, I'll keep you guys up to date about anything that will come up as it concerns uh, the Lakers and, uh, you know, AD if somehow... uh, a trade does potentially happen, uh, you know, or if there is one that may possibly, it will possibly go down uh, before or maybe on the day of the trade deadline, February 7th. So, still remains to be seen. So, guys, please uh, comment down below. Give me your thoughts about today's game. Um, what you liked that impressed you? Was there something that didn't? Or were you guys just surprised that LeBron James... Is dealing with uh, his, uh, you know, own uh, soreness uh, from a certain uh, injury or something like that. I'm not so sure. So, uh, um, please, guys, give me your thoughts about that. I really appreciate all the love support you guys give me on this channel. Like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Go Lakers. Peace. Hey guys, just real quick before I end this video, I just want to uh, say I am rooting for the LA Rams to beat the Patriots on Super Bowl Sunday because you know I am a a huge uh, fan of the of the LA Rams so far this season, and I just am really hyped of how uh, things have been for them, and I just hope that they just you know kick some ass when it comes to uh, the the Patriots because you know I hate Tom Brady. And you know, guys, you know, if you guys know this channel by now, I am a Bronco fan, but at the same time, I am, you know, also a Rams fan as well. So I am uh, rooting for the Rams. I hope they, you know, dominate against this Patriots team and, you know, especially Tom Brady. And I just hope that they just deliver a championship to the city of LA because obviously they need to... The city of LA needs to celebrate, and when it comes to any sort of sports, and uh, you know, and I just hope, guys, that uh, they also dominate that. And if somehow they do end up winning on uh, Sunday, I'll probably going to make a video giving you guys my thoughts and my opinions about what I've saw and what uh, interesting uh, stuff that will possibly go down on Super Bowl Sunday. Rams versus the Patriots. So that's all I really have to say, guys. I really appreciate it. All the love, support, like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Go Rams. Peace.